our team from the Czech Republic in the blue trunks on the left side here on Cursed Hollow. They are inside games with Jackal playing Jane on the bot lane, Darren Echo playing Rhaegar, and they're switch switching things up. Mikachi is playing an Uberak, and Hydex playing Sylvanas. And last but not least, we have Frey playing Tyrael. Their opponents on the right side in the red team colors, they are Team Synergic from Spain. We have Ariel playing Zagara. In the mid lane, it is Oscarath playing Shen. And in the bot lane, going for the tower straight away. We have Ducky on Malfurion, Bardina playing Vala, and Jiri, Cr Jiri Crack playing Turanda. So let's check out their level 1 talents. We have Conjurer's Pursuit on Malfurion, Reconstitution on Zagara, Composite Arrows for the Mortal Shop build on Vala, Ranger's Trait, uh, Ranger's Mark uh, taken by Turanda, and the Regen Master for Chen. On the other side, there's a little engagement here in the mid already. Ah, interesting mid lane composition. Might change, change things up later on. But um, so far, party lane versus party lane, it's not gonna happen all that much. Um, especially not with these compositions. Uh, we have Purge Evil on Tyrael. Deep Chill taken by Jaina. Um, the Healing Totem for Rega with a Wind taken by Savannas. And extended spikes for Nubarak. So really, really good control here uh, for inside games. Should uh, well, should manifest itself pretty soon. Ooh, there's the move. But nope, they're not going for Oscar Ruff. He's way too far back, way too close to the wall. It's not going to happen. And at the same time, Synergic already moving back into position. Already coming up once again. Just waiting for inside games to uh, misstep in the wrong direction. And take, a, take a step a little bit too close to the walls. And once again, <laughs> same thing they're doing. And it's just so even for now. Uh, both teams really close in XP. Not that much of an advantage for either of these teams. Oh, <laughs> nice little dodge here by Tyrande. And they're all coming down. Nope, Chen is uh, sticking, him, sticking to his mid lane. And Bardina, ooh, that was that was a little bit too close for comfort, but uh, Ray didn't want to make a move, so I guess she was fine in the end. The four is coming up for both teams pretty soon. We'll have a look what talents will be picked here. They're both teams are playing really cautiously at, up to this point. We have amplified healing taken by Turiel, the arcane intellect taken by Jaina. Farsight taken by Rhaegar, Venom on Sylvanas, and the Legion of Beetles for Nubarak. Uh, you Nubarak lovers out there should rejoice, uh, he's getting a buff pretty soon, but he uh, will uh, improve the way this, his beetles uh, are handled and are targeting, so that should help out quite a bit to make him more viable in the future. Uh, level 4 talents on Team Synergic are Protective Shield on Mafurion, the Envenom Spikes on Zagara, and Arsenal for Valor, Healing Ward taken by Tyrande, and the Amplified Healing on Shen. Greetings, so just making things work, um, mostly mostly standard stuff, and both teams just trying to get a way to get to that tribute, but looks like it's not gonna happen with the party lane on both sides, Jaina doing a really good job just soaking XP and still pushing this lane. Why her comrades are going for that tribute, but I guess Val and Malfurion it's a little bit dangerous. Ooh, Malfurion actually getting, getting quite a bit of damage in there. So that uh, leaves him in a really good position to actually go for this tribute. Hydax a little bit low, needs to watch out. And the stun is out, and now Chen joins the fray. Maybe they can go for the tribute now. Yeah, looks like they will be able to. Jackal, oh, quite low. Barely missing that route. And Bardina has been stopped for a little bit there by Thray. Can he do it once again? Nope, not gonna happen. You can see came in from the back. Good, uh, good use of his uh, long range disrupt, but in the end, Bardina does take that tribute. So 1 0 in the tributes game, but they did lose. Um, yeah, did lose one tower already and getting a lot of damage in that bot lane. Mid lane uh, should be counter pushed here. Uh, Oscarath did have help from Turan for a little bit there, but. So far, Frey doing a really, really good job. And there's a Nubarak coming in. Oh, stun barely misses Othgarev, but that's a lot of damage, and they should be able to get the towers. Othgarev uh, trying to push him away as good as he can. 
Zagara on the other hand, uh, she's pushing really strong in the top lane. Let's have a look over here. Really, 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 really amazing creep spread here by Ariel. And that's two towers going down. The gate is still left standing, but Darren Echo looks like he can't really go for the um, can't really go for the heal. Oh, there it goes down. But nope, he can't do anything against Ariel. Both teams still really even uh, in the experience game. And really, really cool uh, lane shifts coming out um, on the side of Synergic. So, let's have a look at the level 7 talents. Battle Momentum, Frostbitten, Earth Shield, Follow Through, and the Bed of Barbs. On the other side, we have Enduring Growth, the Endless Creep, um, which uh, we see in action already. Wow, that's massive. Really, really good creep spread. Every Zerg would be proud of you. And then we have Hot Pursuit on Bala. Um, so giving him a little bit of uh, increased movement speed once she gets uh, 10 stacks of hatred is the uh, Lunar Blaze for Tyrande and the Brewmaster's Balance on Chen. Top lane. Ooh, it's in trouble. There's Thray in the middle of everything, but he can dash away. Sea Giants will be stopped here in no time by Ariel and Oscarra. But they did take a little bit of damage, even though uh, Creep Spread has been so, so good here by Ariel. And so far she, she's been pushing really, really well. Bot lane uh, will get a little bit more siege in with the siege chance in the bot lane, and Jaina will have to try to stop those two tributes already on the side of Synergic. And then last tribute, uh, it's up for grabs now, it's spawning in, and the creep spread should help out quite a bit to spot whenever inside games is coming there. But uh, they're still waiting, still waiting for the entire team to get there. Oh, Mikachi is in a good position to stun. And that stun should come out pretty soon, but he's probably going to wait a little bit, uh, at least for them to start channeling. There's the engage. Both teams just kind of dancing around. Ooh, level 10 is available for inside games. And there it goes down. There's a judgment onto Doki. And some really, really fast damage output onto him as well. Oscarov, wow, you don't have that heroic available. N nope, not yet. And wow, that's the next one. Vala dropping so quickly. What a great move here by Inside Games. What a perfect way to stop this uh, third tribute um, from uh, Inside Games. And Prey still doing some damage here. Tower will fall. They have three O's in top lane, but of course, cooldown timers at this point are incredibly low, so it's, uh, it's not going to lead to too much aggression on the side of Inside Games. Now, let's have a look at the heroics. We have the uh, Water Elemental for Jaina. Ancestry Healing, of course, taken by Rhaegar. Wailing Arrow, False Evanus, and the Web Blast um, for Inuberak. Hmm, that's interesting. Really, really cool combination uh, of heroics there. And we have Tranquility by Mafurian, Roaring Maw on Zagara, the Reign of Vengeance this time for Zagara, uh, for um, Val, and Starfall for Tyrande, and the Wandering Keg, of course, taken by Chen to get a little bit more zoning potential in. Ariel's already in position. Can she go for that tribute? Well, they have a lot of vision on the left side, on the right side, on the bottom, basically everywhere. They control the, t the top part of the map really, really well. But uh, map vision isn't everything. It's all about the team fights, and that's where it goes to inside games, for now at least. You can see trying to engage Oscarov. And they're just trying to keep uh, Synergic back. They don't want to get this tribute. They really want to get this next one, and then it's going to be a really tough fight for the third and final one. Oh, Ray caught out in the uh, in the root there, but really nice move here by Oscarev, kind of uh, getting Nubrek completely out of this. Wow, that's their moment to strike. Really nice maw on two heroes, and the Rain of Vengeance follow up. Wow, what a nice move. Tyrael falls, and wow. Three heroes going down, and that's the curse on the side of Synergic. Wow, that Maw really saved the day. Um, and a nice, nice, really uh, nice move here by Chen to set that Maw up. Get, uh, get a noob rack out of there, get Turiel out of there, and then just set it up. And then they're going straight for Savannah. Really, really cool move. Buying himself a little bit of time to go for the boss, and then even get the kill on the top keep, uh, top fort. Should be in there, should be a possibility, but maybe they're just letting the boss do, it th do its thing and uh, switching lanes around. Uh, bot lane, I don't think I uh, got too much damage in. Well, a little bit, a little bit. Jackal's in position to stop these minions, but they're all coming down. 
Oh, thought about going for the boss. Ooh, Jackal, you need to watch out. The entire team is coming in. And there goes the sprint. Ooh, coming in just in time. Just in time with that sprint. Um, we have Burning Rage taken by Tyrael. Feral Lunge taken by Rhaegar. Evasive Fire by Savannahs. And Burning Rage once again for Nubarak. 13 talents uh, for the opposing team will come in pretty soon. But first, they're stealing the boss. Really, really going for it. Well, I mean, that's something you can do if, if your opponent is still dealing with their with the boss in the top lane. It's something we see quite often. One team going for their own boss or even stealing the other boss and then having all the time in the world to go for their own. And that's the Ford and bot lane going down. Mid lane already took quite a bit of damage as well. So that's the next one that should fall, but well, it's not too much. Um, I guess Tyrael did a really good job um, staying in that lane. Now they have a little bit of time to dish out that damage, get the towers down, get the gates down, and then help out their minions. But it's not going to be enough to, to stop this, or get this fort down, I think. Uh, is that game still dealing with the boss? Will they be there now? This is a lot of damage output. It might be enough. Oh, well, they play it safe. Well, nope. No, no need to. No need to. Just get that fort. Get more XP, and now they're dead even in the experience game. And they have two mercenaries available. We'll have to stop the the sea chance in the in top lane, but uh, Malfurion is already in position. Cast this, cast that root. Just try to get rid of the sea chance. Uh, he might need some help. Who's a Gara? Need to watch out, girl. It's a dangerous situation to be in. Ooh, there's a cocoon onto Malfurion, but his team is coming in. And there we go, there's the barrel roll once again, a maw set up, that would be perfect, where's that maw? There it goes down, but looks like it's not gonna work this time, Ariel will drop, and Ray, can he get away this time? Nope, not, not again, but Dorky, I'm getting a little bit of damage in, Hydrax need to get out of that fight, one for one for now, and I don't think they're gonna get another kill out of this, ooh, a Nubarak falling, that was a nice little move here, Jekyll also out of position, but it looks like Oscarov by himself is not going to be able to do anything. Instead, just going for the Boozer camp. But at the same time, they don't want to let this tribute slide. That would give two tributes to the side of Inside Games. And with two tributes, that's going to force you into the fight for the next one. And Oscarov is there. They have enough time. And he should be fine. He should be fine. Cooldown timers. Uh, the cocoon is up already. Access to healing available as well. Ancestral healing just didn't come in last in that last team fight. Could have needed that desperately. And now Synergic is in position to go for that tribute. Well, uh, I guess Inside Games just didn't feel comfortable fighting at this position. Uh, you have the bruises up now. Uh, sea Giants are available on the side of Synergic. So I guess both teams uh, will go for their go for their camps as soon as they can. Zagara still creeping everything up. I mean, look at this map. Basically, everything just creeped up all over the place. Kind of neglecting top lane, but they really want to push push down mid as, as good as they can. It's a really, really solid creeping here by Ariel. Alright, level 16 talents are coming in. We have Trip Blood for Blood, Tyrael, Rhaegar, and Sylvanas. Northern Exposure on Jaina. And the last one still missing, Anubarak, we'll have to see. But Blood for Blood changes things quite a bit. That's uh, going to give even more damage output to the side inside games. Only one Blood for Blood for Valor on Synergic. We have Brood, ex brood Expansion for Zagara, Tenacious Roots on Malfurion, True Shot Aura on Tyrande, and Boulder Flavor for Chen. And that's the next tribute coming up. Both teams have only one tribute right now. So... It's not really the most crucial moment, but then again, if they can get a good engagement, maybe even a oh, pick off Oscarov, but he's too quick. Way too quick for them. At least four heroes down here by themselves, but Mikachi, oh, he's completely zoned out and taken out so quickly. Nice move. Uh, what a misstep here by Mikachi. And Iriel, they're going for the chase. Uh, more barely missing there. Jaina sprinted away. But still, they got that tribute and got one kill, so that's not too shabby at this point. 
30 second cooldown. Nubrek will uh, be missing for quite some time and looks like they're going to set up the same thing as the last time the boss was up. They're going to grab that Grave Golem and then might have enough time to go for the opposing Grave Golem. Materials already in position. Well, inside games, they have a little bit of a timing window to uh, stop this uh, stop this capture, but it's going to be tough. They're still missing an Uberak without him. I don't think they're going to engage this. Maybe it's just going to be... <laughs> No, maybe it's just gonna be a leash. Yeah, it's gonna be a leash here. Uh, will we heal up in time? Maw's not available. Actually, a really good position right now for inside games. Nubarak is back pretty soon, and they have all their heroics, and there's that heroic in action. Tirana goes down, Bardina's in trouble, but a nice little raid of vengeance. But this time, the, uh, the, uh, the healing came in in time, and Thray is kept alive. Mikachi pushing them back, and they get the boss. Nope. Boss has been leashed and healed up completely. Oscarf is still in there, still trying to stop him, but with two heroes down, this is definitely the boss for inside games. Really, really nice move. That could open up possibilities to go for their own boss afterwards. Basically, have that same setup that Synergic put on for the last boss. Zagara, so ooh, she's trying something down here. By herself, this is gonna take forever, um, so a little bit too close. Um, and too soon to check that. Oh, just creeping everything down. I guess that helps. Uh, Synergic will be busy just dealing with the boss, but... Oh no, it looks like they just kind of let that boss march and instead try to go for... Uh, try to go for counter play here on the boss off inside game side. It's, oh, this is gonna be tough. They're a level behind, a solid level behind. And oh, are they gonna engage into this? There's the leash once again. Boss will heal up pretty soon. <laughs> trying for him trying to go for the steal. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. Almost all heroics are up. Um, four inside games. Two heroics down on the side of uh, Synergic. And now all of them are up. Wow, there's an the engagement. There's the judgment onto Bardina, but a good heal so far. And Thray is caught out down here. The ancestral healing comes in, does keep him alive. And Oscarad is pushed back. There's a star for Os Oscarad. Still goes down. Mikachi might fall. Yes, he does. But it's one for one for now. And Ariel, he's pushing them back. Jekyll is quite low. Almost got body blocked there by Thray. Wizard is coming in. And a nice little steal here. Bit the boss. And oh geez, what a combination. Synergic. They have the boss and they have the curse. This might be game already. If it wasn't for Chen missing, they could finish this game right here now. They're not going Jekyll quite low. Just got to the well, but is it gonna be enough? That's a lot of damage output. This keep will definitely fall. We might see another keep going down, but with 11 seconds on Shen, they might just go for the core straight away. They might just do it. 20 seconds for a noob to get back. Oh, oh, Tirana didn't watch out. Nice engagement here by Thray. Uriel also in trouble, but she's on creep. Uh, should be able to get away. Oh, a little bit of a blunder here. A little bit of a misstep. She did want to keep her uh, remaining teammates alive. So I guess buying a little bit of time is okay in this situation. The boss still duking away here. Wailing away at the core. Did a little bit of damage. Got the uh, the shields down and did 7%. It's alright. Losing those two heroes really did hurt. Um, they could have finished the game off. And now level 20 available for inside games. We have Arcane Power taken by Jaina, the Angel of Justice on Tyrael. Tira, uh, Storm Shield taken by Rhaegar. Deafening Blast on uh, Zavanna's and Hardened Shield by Anubarak. And whoop, yep, there's the Boozer Steel. Well, they still have one fort they could go for, but instead, well, two forts actually. So that's a lot of XP their way. They need to watch out. The entire team of Synergic is uh, now back, so they shouldn't overextend at this point. That was the big mistake here by Synergic. They could have finished off the game, or at least played it safe, gotten back, gotten all the XP they wanted, and then tried once again, but now, I guess, I gotta say, they're quite far behind. It looks like inside games are not gonna make that same mistake. They're gonna play it safe. Not stick around for too long. They have their bruises to take and the sea giants. So that should be enough. And all turning around. Yep. <laughs> bruises will be checked here by Taranda. That's the sentinel in action. 
And I'm just soaking XP, but I think uh, Synergic needs to do a little bit of a better job. There's a lot of XP uh, lost in the top lane. They did want to stop Jaina here. Uh, Jekyll should be fine, especially with the help of um, Rega. Yep, bruises were taken, and now that's, uh, that's some good aggression in mid lane. With the Sea Chines in top, I think they could go for some uh, for some split pushing right now. But nope, not gonna go for the Sea Chines. Instead, just opting to go for mid lane straight away. Uh, <laughs> Mikachi trying to clear up the creep. And Hydex already in position. They will get the towers and the gates, but I don't think they're gonna get there in time for the keep. Oh, well, we have only four heroes in position, but Murphy and uh, Vala are also ported back, have ported back, so uh, this is not gonna do all that much. They'll just melt away the bruisers, and once they're gone, it doesn't really matter. Oh, the tribute is coming up, and that could be the third tribute for Inside Games. So they're gonna fight really hard for this one. Oscarat already in position, scouting out Thray. Nice little spread here, and Hydex, he gets that tribute. And with that, they get the curse. There's a judgment onto Ariel, and a lot of burst damage, and a nice little stun. They get Zagara and Malfurion. Bardina might be able to get away. Yes, she does. Tyrande in top. Oh, they're going for Jekyll, but Jekyll still stays alive. Oscarat, oh, trying to go for it, but Incestry Healing coming in. If Oscarus falls, this should be game, and Inside Games can go for the kill, but nope, he still sticks around. Still sticks around, Oscarath and Bardina still staying alive. But this keep will definitely fall. And I don't think two heroes is enough uh, to stop an entire team of inside games with a solid one level advantage. Yep, that's GG. That's GG for you. Bardina getting caught out once again. Oscarath trying to push them back. They don't even have their heroics available. GG is called, and that's way too much damage. Another judgment and another kill here for Tyrael. Oscar just uh, trying to get a little bit more damage onto Jackal, but that's it. Our team from Czech Republic, Inside Games, they're moving on to the finals.